गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो सेवन ओ क्लॉक एंड वी ब्रीज द हॉस्पिटल विद स्टार्टिंग अ डे लेट सी हाउ इट वर्स पेशेंट लेट्स रेडी एंड वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट राउंड नाउ सो लेट्स सी वॉट वर्क वी हैव फॉर द डे सो दिस इज़ आर पेशेंट लिस्ट फॉर द डे लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट आर राउंड नाउ वी हैव गॉट सम वर्क टू डू वी हैव गॉट अ कपल ऑफ पेशेंट इन द कैजुअलिटी एंड वी गॉट सेवन डिस्चार्जेस टू मेक Uh, apart from that we've got uh, three dressings two drain removals so we'll do that so we're here to grab a coffee uh, after a very interesting case that we saw in the uh, emergency so there was this patient who had hydrocephalus and was operated bp shunt uh, 13 years back in 2014 uh, this patient had again ventricular megaly and uh, periventricular ooze Uh, this patient got his CT scan done. Uh, he was drowsy. That is why. So uh, he was started on acetazolamide uh, and shunt chamber compression. Repeat CT scan done after two days uh, revealed that uh, shunt was working and there was gross reduction in the size of the ventricles. Uh, in regular follow-ups, every yearly he had scans which were normal. He had his uh, scan today again done because he was getting drowsy. and uh, again his ventricles were plus so we aspirated from aspirated csf from the shunt chamber and thankfully it was working so we have again started him on acetazolamide and shunt chamber compression let's see how he behaves in the next uh, day also so we're done with our first case of the ot the first case was a right frontal lesion it appeared to be like a glioma it had uh, involved the meninges however and there was a cystic component so we were suspecting it to be a secondary of some sort malignancy okay so we sent it for frozen and we we'll get up uh, pet city done in the post op period it's 2 o'clock we're done with the first case and now finally i've got some time to eat let's just hurry up then we got the second case also next case that we have now is an endoscopic discectomy uh, it is a l45 pfd patient has severe radicular right sided pain for the last 3 months uh, so we'll do an endoscopic discectomy for the same i am back so we have a third case for the day that is a chronic subdural hematoma subdural hematomas can be acute subacute or chronic depending on the time of injury and uh, when you are operating so acute uh, subdural hematomas uh, generally have a mass effect a very big mass effect and need to undergo decompressive craniectomy but for chronic subdural hematomas uh, they come out by a bur hole or a mini craniotomy so we'll be doing a parietal mini craniotomy in hematoma the same hello everyone so we finally through with the last case for the day and uh, now we'll go head back to the ward and see what the admissions are for tomorrow and prepare them for ot hello everyone so it's 2 o'clock in the night and we have a patient who has cross hydrocephalus and needs to be urgently operated so we have prepared the patient now we're going to change and let's see you in the ot hello everyone so we're in the ot now it's 5 o'clock in the morning and we're done with our surgery so let's move down to the ward and see what's happening there so i hardly got rest of half an hour and now i'm back doing my rounds uh, let's see how everything goes and then we'll be off duty finally finally after a very hectic day we are in the parking and ready to go now just a message to everybody aspiring to take up neuro surgery it is a very heavy branch very hectic branch you have to be on your toes all day every day be prepared coming into this but the reward it gives you is amazing the feeling you get when you see brain when you treat somebody who could not have been treated otherwise and would have most likely died this is good this is good